And welcome back to Game Quest. I'm Mike. And I'm Tony. And we are making our way towards, uh... We're gonna do the Cuckoo game while we're here, or...? Uh, I, I guess I can give it a try. Take a swing? It's not like you don't have a full inventory full of cash. Got some free time? Come on and play. Okay, apparently I just skipped all the... Well, we already know that we're wagering his daughter's dowry on it, so... <laughs> okay, so... It's the one directly behind you in the corner, for one. This one? Uh... One of those two in the hay bale. I think it's the one on the left. No, it's that one. <laughs> okay, so the last one is... I think it's that one, by the box. Darn it. Yes. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> the lesson you should take from this, ladies and gentlemen, is never attempt to play a shell game against me. <laughs> I will find the lady every time. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I will come back in exactly seven years for that <laughs> promise. Let's have very own long, long milk. Can we energize? Cool. Energize how? We put drugs in it. Oh, oh okay then. <laughs> drugs. In milk. Who would have thought? It turns out the cocaine is a natural preservative. <laughs> oh wow, that's a lot of. Uh... I love the milk label. It's a tiny little. Uh, and then the staircase upstairs. There's a staircase. Yes. Oh. We'll fit right into this family with all of the jank. <laughs> oh, come on. I can only assume that's Malin's bed because she's the only adult here. <laughs> I thought there was something up here, but apparently there isn't. But it's like, even if there's nothing up here, it's like, I think maybe Malon's up here when, like, it's nighttime and she's not out on the ranch itself. Hmm. But, like, even if there's nothing up here, it's cool that they put in, like, a bedroom where it's like, oh, hey, there's this. Also, are you ready for a fun architectural fact? Sure. Look up. Those kind of vaulted roofs like that yeah. were actually uh, fairly common back in the day. Uh, sometimes, uh, if they weren't insulated, sometimes they were or weren't insulated, but that way you got more, uh, headroom or whatever. The, uh, rafters design that you see in houses these days is actually an incredibly modern invention. No. Oh. Okay. Huh. Yeah, it doesn't really mean anything, but it's an interesting bit of trivia. I figured you'd appreciate it. It is something to appreciate. I, maybe there's something over in that hay bale in the corner? I can't remember. Out of my way. No, no, maybe there isn't. For some reason, I remember there being like some kind of a hidden thing around here. Oh. Maybe in the future. Yeah. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Anyway, he offered no take backs, and now that we've secured our future, it's time to go secure a mask. Onwards. Supposedly, there's a mask salesman here. So a happy mask salesman. Why the emphasis on happy? 
Because mass spread happiness. Okay. Um. Um. Can you guess what shop sells masks? I'll be honest, I didn't look at the any at these shops like thing. That's a cat face. Well, that's an archery thing. That's a clown emerging from an otherwise ordinary looking building. Is that a clown? I legitimately could not tell what that is. <laughs> oh, um So you're assigned to the left. Please read the shine before you use the sub. My shop works. We do not sell the master shall we lend masks. You sell the loan masks on your own. You pay back the money for the mask, we lend you a newer model. You could borrow masks that you've already sold again, however, you can only eat, sell each model of mask only once. What? You there. Come to the happy mask shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. What? Every sold a mask, you'll become happy yourself. Have faith. What? Well, uh, Keaton Mask is the only one for sale at the moment. So, uh, Gate Guard wants that. Yeah. So, I guess there's no excuse keeping us away from Death Mountain at this point. Right. Onwards to Death Mountain, then. fan of all this music and everything like it's everything about this game is so intimately crafted you know what I mean I guess I could see what you mean it's kind of funny thinking about like with today's like game making technology and everything and how rough some of the polygonal <laughs> stuff is in this game <laughs> like if you had a concerted, if you had like a team the size of the team that made Ocarina of Time in the first place, and you just wanted to bang this stuff out with like the way these textures look and the everything, you could probably do it in a weekend. Like as far as like the actual like, cause, I mean, look at the modeling for the houses. It's basically flat with some textures on it with a slight indent for the door, and then, like, a peaked roof that doesn't even have any overhang. Put on the mask. Put on the mask? Yeah. Mm. You have to enter the Shadow Realm, go into your menu screen, escape the negative zone, Ah. Go up the mask. <laughs> Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh. Is that a Key Something character mask? I heard he's very popular recently. Key Something character? So, like, this is a key Tom. story? He's my boy's favorite. That Key Something mask. If you don't mind, will you sell it to me? Oh, hell yeah. My boy will be very happy with this. You really are, Mr. Hero. <laughs> Alright, but first, Death Mountain. Yeah, first we have a mountaineering experience to get to. Does that also just taper off into a triangle? That looked like a triangle, yeah. On the Death Mountain Trail. Sweet. What am I looking at? Nightmares. Oh, 
Wow, what the f- And it's dead, it's dead forever. They're called something. If you lock onto them, Navi will tell you about them. Oh, that, that that explains a lot, actually. I was going, why did she tell me anything right, about this? Tech I'm not totally sure how you pronounce that. Ah! If you jump while it jumps, it wins the priority of attack. Yeah. Also, as a fun side note, do you remember when I was talking about, uh, you need bombs? Oh, okay. Remember how I was talking about Din shaping the earth? Yeah. And then the whole, uh, the blessing the area kind of thing? Mm hmm Uh, both of them, if you look at the camera from this angle, you can see that both of them used this area for background rendering in the cutscene. Ah. It's a... It's a rock. It's a rock! Talk to the rock. But it's a rock. Mm -hmm. uh. It's a Goron! I am one of the Gorons. The stone-eating people who live on Death Mountain. Look at that huge boulder over there. It blocks the entrance to the Dagongo's cavern. Don Dongo. It's a very important place for us Gorons. But one day, many Dodongos suddenly appeared inside the cavern. It became a very dangerous place. Okay. On top of that, a Gerudo in black armor used his magic to seal the entrance with that boulder. Ah, I see. If you want to hear more Goron gossip, head to Tor City. Wait, was that old Goron gossip? City is just a little way up the trail. It won't take much longer to get there, even on foot. Also, a side note. Uh... A male Gerudo is an extremely narrow accusation, given the fact that only one is born into the tribes for a century. Ah. So, uh, assuming that is indeed a Goron responsible for this, we know exactly who it is. Goron? I mean, a uh, Gerudo. <laughs> yes, it was in fact that one specific Goron. See, a beautiful fairy lives on top of Death Mountain. Don't you want to see her? Why does she live? Why does she live on Death Mountain? What? Why would you want to live on Death Mountain? Okay, are you telling me you don't want to live on a place called Death Mountain? Well, yeah, but I'm weird. So maybe you shouldn't be a hypocrite. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> Entering. No one can stop me. I'm still sorry about this place. You think she'd like it? Maybe. Okay. You ever stand in front of them and they'll notice you? I'm so hungry. Everyone feels faint from hunger because of the food shortage in this town. We are in danger of extinction. It's all because we can't enter our quarry, the Dodongo's Cavern. We Gorons live in a diet of rocks. And the most delicious and nutritious rocks around are found in Dodongo's Cavern. Well, that seems like ancient history now. We've become such gourmets that we can't stand to eat rocks from anywhere else. Oh, hey, remember those jokes about basically, oh, hey, well, how come you don't just eat grass if, you're, if you eat plants and stuff like that? Like, it doesn't really seem to be that, uh... The case that they basically they eat specific ores. It seems literally like they are picky eaters, and they're more willing to starve than to pick than to eat anything else. I want to eat the top sirloin rocks from the Dodongo's cavern. I. As a On music. One side note: you can walk across this rope. Behold my balancing abilities. Hey, there's monsters down at the bottom there. You there. Let's have a conversation. Hey. It's dangerous for a little kid like you to come out here. You might fall down. 
That's true. If I'm mistaken, you came out here to eat the red stone. Well, too bad. It's not here. Do, do I look like I'm going to eat red stones? What? That's not why you're here. You're looking for a spiritual stone? It must mean that delicious looking red stone that was once displayed here. I was so hungry that I thought it would be okay to just give it one tiny little lick. So I snuck out here. But it was already gone. I think Big Brother took it away. He always says that everyone is after that red stone. Big Brother has shut himself up in his room saying, I will wait in here for the royal family's messenger. Oh, sweet. Alright. Oh, hey, these bomb blasts. Hmm. Okay. You, sir, are massive. Okay. Lesson learned. You just jump down the hole. I was, is, is that where I'm supposed to go? The bottom of the hole? Yeah. Okay. There's also a uh, lit torch somewhere they used to light all the other torches, but that can wait. Guess a check. For guess, it feels so plush under your feet. Oh, sweet. Would you like a hint? My brother shut himself up in his room saying, I'll wait here for the royal family's messenger. Oh, that's a shame. There is no messenger. Uh, you're on a mission from the princess. Yeah, I know. Just... Admittedly, I just can't remember the song. <laughs> <laughs> There's a menu for that, right? There we go. Oh my god. I was hoping it would come to me while I was basically wasting time. Before you talk to the Goron guy, you should check in with Saria. Like, leave this entire place and go back and you talk to You can just call her using your fairy magic. Oh, yeah. Huh. It's down right left. <laughs> Talk to Saria, right? Hey Saria, can you hear me? The forest is connected to many places. You can hear my song. You must be somewhere that is connected to the forest. There actually is a shortcut that leads you back to the forest in the city, but we'll deal with that later. Dock again? No. But yeah, when you play that song, you connect to Saria. Sweet. And talk to her wherever you are. What the heck? Who are you? Name's Link. <laughs> when I heard the song of the royal family, I expected their messenger had arrived. But you're just a little kid. Well, that's true. You don't have to make it seem so hurtful. Has Darunia, the big boss, the Gorons, really lost so much status to be treated like this by his sworn brother, the king? Technically, I'm under orders from the princess, not the king specifically. Now, I'm really angry. Get in my face. Now! Are you asking why I'm in such a bad mood right now? Y yes, yes, I'm, I'm asking that right now. Ancient creatures have infested the Dongo's Cavern. We've had a poor harvest of our special crop, bomb flowers. Starvation and hunger because of the rock shortage. But this is a Goron problem. We don't need any help from strangers. Uh, uh, are, are you sure about that?
Are you sure about that? I mean, you can ask again. This is a Gohan problem. <laughs> I just told you that. <laughs> I ain't like repeating myself. Well, like an owl to you? <laughs> no, you're way too concise. So, there's a dude next to the door. Their brother about complicated things. If he's in a bad mood, he'll probably get mad at you. It can be pretty scary, but I know his secret. He may not look like the type, but Big Brother loves to dance. He gets in a rhythm. He goes, Surely. I remember Big Brother used to always listen to the music that comes from the forest. Ah, yes. The good old days. That music makes me feel nostalgic, too. When all the torches were lit, Goron City is really lively. I see. So bright of music, eh? Wow. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go get like. <laughs> You're just giving up entirely. <laughs> Come on, man, let's get to the second dungeon before the episode ends. All right, all right, all right. I just... <laughs> you really need to memorize these, like, songs. Oh. Okay, so... Are you attempting to play Saria song? Yes. It is down right left. Why did I go over left right? Come on! Hot! What a hot beat! Wow! Yeah! Yahoo! Meanwhile, sorry on the other end of the phone line. <laughs> <laughs> just like that, my depression is all gone. Something just came over me. I suddenly wanted to dance like crazy. <laughs> sorry on the other end of the line. Is that a screaming Goron? I am Daruni. I'm the big boss of the Gorons. If there's something you wanted to ask me about. What? You want the Spiritual Stone of Fire too? The spiritual Stone of Fire, also known as the Gorons Ruby, is our race's hidden treasure. Huh. But hold on, I'm not gonna give it to you that easily. If you want it so badly, why don't you go destroy the monsters inside the Dodongo's Cavern and prove you're a real man? You wanted me to prove that I'm a real man? All right, I got my fairy and everything. Is that the qualifier? I do we believe. We have to go kill monsters in a cave? <laughs> I do believe that is the qualifier. That way, I'll be happy again. If you do it, I'll give you anything you want, even the spiritual stone. I have something for you. I'm not really giving you this for return or anything, but take it anyway. If you wear this, even a little fellow like you can pick a bomb flower using A. Oh, sweet. That's why I couldn't do it earlier. Yep. Oh, uh, hey. And now you're blinged up and ready to go conquer a dungeon. It looks kind of stylish. Sweet. Actually, wait. Go back in that room and get a stick out. Torches. And now we're here. Yep, back in the Shadow Realm, just like you asked. Okay. Grab a stick and light it up. Now run. Light that torch. Light that torch. Hit the other torches. Hit the bomb flowers. Uh. Rotate faster. Light that stick and light the bomb flowers. Ha <laughs> ha Run away before you die. Wait. 
Now light torches. Now like the shop is open, but you should light torches and go up to the next level. And light those torches. No, there's a shop. I was sitting there going like, are you just trying to get me killed? Okay. Where? Uh, right there. 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 No! Right faster. Move with purpose next time. <laughs> okay. Thanks. Why? <laughs> Light a torch. Get a bomb flower. Now flee. But now you have a shortcut back to the Lost Woods. Ah, sweet. That's what that sound is. And I think over there, yeah, that's the staircase up to the next level where there might be more torches. I don't know. That's the level with the big go on. The one that rolls around. Yep. Oh, there it is. Oh, you got a bomb flower and throw it at him. He'll stop rolling. Ah. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Yeah, you should have done it while he was on the way there. I should have. I just kind of wanted to test my speed. Period of time. You can also blow up that door next to you to open a doorway to another place. Now grab it and throw it. Throw it. Blah. You missed. Blah. Yeah, let's get out of here. We'll deal with this later. All right. I am... Over there, right? Yep. Oh, wait. Towards the entrance, but backwards. There you go. Okay. Now if you go to the right. No, like up there. Oh. oh. The right turn. Oh. We're almost off here. I'm saying here, she had the bomb flowers from the sun. Bomb flowers. They are mining plants that grow only on this mountain. The flower's fruit is the raw material for bombs. But a non goring amateur should never pick the bomb flower's fruit. They are usually grow only in the dark places, so bomb flowers that grow in a place like this are extremely rare. Okay. You can ask about the Dodongo Cavern now? I guess. I was really curious about specifically why he was providing shade. Because he needs to grow in a dark place. This light side is very dim. The bomb flower is a plant unique to this mountain. Grow like crazy in there. Okay. Grab that bomb flower. I'm gonna get yelled at this, though. Yelled at for this. No, you're not. I'm pretty sure I am. It'll grow back. Just panic and throw it over the edge before anyone notices. Oh, okay. Now quickly, jump off a sh uh, jump off the cliff. If he thinks you're already dead, he won't come hunting you. Ow. Oh, all the hearts are gone. 
These are a couple rocks. There's probably hearts left in there. Oh, yeah? Recharge before you go into the dungeon. That sounds like a plan. There you go. Um, nom nom nom. Okay. Alright, so... Down this hallway... Is the Dongo's Cavern, and we will conquer it... Starting next time on Game Quest. Next time. See ya.